For the past couple of weeks, I've been weirdly obsessed with buying sealed old Apple products. I tried a couple of days ago with the, uh, the iPhone 5s that I bought that ended up being scams, so that was a lot of fun. But today, I think I've got not only a more interesting product to unbox, but one that might actually be real. This box right here contains a 13-year-old MacBook Pro, and as you can see, it has never been opened. So today, we're gonna see what's inside. So what exactly are we looking at here? Well, as you can see on the front of this box, it says certified reconditioned product. Now that's not something that I've seen before. It's obviously not an original brand new Apple box. However, this is still an Apple box. We've got logos, it's got the sticker with the model information and specs. So what we are looking at here is a refurbished MacBook Pro from Apple. Now already I can hear the comments saying, well, wait a minute, that's not new, that's refurbished. Have you ever looked at Apple's refurbished products? First of all, most of the time they're either the current or one previous generation and they are all functionally brand new. So let's go ahead and read off the specs from the label. MacBook Pro 17 GLS 2.4, 2 x 1 GB, 160, 5400, 256. So what that means is this is the mid-2007 17-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, a 160 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive, and the 256 megabyte NVIDIA GeForce 8600M GT graphics. Now this thing, when it was new, retailed for $2,800, which is this much in today's currency. That's a, a hefty sum. Now obviously it was a little bit less given that this one was refurbished, but still kind of makes you wonder why someone spent probably like $25, $2,600 in today's money and then never opened the box. Unless they did and this is a scam, but I hope that it isn't. And there's only really one way to find out. Let's get into it. I feel really guilty about opening this, but this wasn't that expensive. So here we go. Thirteen years, the tape is being broken. I kind of expect that I'm gonna open this and like some deceased spirits are gonna come out and haunt me or something. Ooh, you hear that? Still snappy, thirteen years later. Oh man. What is this? Oh wow, that's crazy. So I'm gonna cover up the address here, but this is the original order form. So this was shipped from the online Apple store and it was ordered on August 5th, 2008. And it was shipped via FedEx home delivery. So how about that? That's actually crazy. So we know now that this MacBook was ordered almost exactly 12 years ago. Oh man. This insert comes out. Okay, so there's the actual MacBook. I'm actually gonna save that for a little later because I wanna take a look at these accessories. This is already so much more than you get with a new Mac, it's ridiculous. All right, so we'll set that aside because this looks really, really cool. Okay, I don't know why exactly this opens, doesn't really need to. Anyway, here is our charger cord. Wow, this is, this thing is fresh. All in its original, okay, so the, the adhesive on the wrapper has deteriorated somewhat. You can see we've got our, oh, look at our old style MagSafe charger. Oh, look at this. This all smells new. This is so surreal. It's very strange. It's hard to describe, but it's very strange to see stuff that is old, like the old design for the wall charger back when it looked a little bit less modern, the old, uh, plastic tip of the MagSafe charger. All of this old stuff, but it's new and it smells brand new. It's really weird. This cable hasn't deteriorated at all. Look, there's even the little cap on the MagSafe charger. Huh, 
But, oh man, look at this. We've got the VGA to DVI adapter still sealed in its original package. Remember old Macs used to come with the remote so that you could use front row? They all look terrible because they're white plastic and they would get scuffed up, but this one is brand new. All right, I zoomed in a little bit on camera B so that we can take a look at the documentation. So this is a pretty thick booklet compared to what you get nowadays. Um, so let's see what's inside of it. Everything Mac. I remember these big books. Like, look at the size of this thing. That's a lot of pages. This, they used to pretty much put all of the different controls, like you can see all of the keyboard functions, like it's all on this little booklet here. And then you, <laughs> there's another little booklet which actually contains, ooh, we've got some install disks. Let's take a look at those. Mac OS X install disk one and two. This is version 10.5. Also in here we have our software license and our one year limited warranty, which I think has since expired, if I had to guess. And our Apple stickers. Man, look at these old style Apple stickers. But now it's time for the main course, the MacBook itself. So pretty simple packaging here. We've just got some styrofoam inserts that hold the MacBook itself, which is wrapped up in a familiar fabric sleeve. They still use this kind of sleeve when you uh, ship a Mac off to get repaired. When you get it back, it'll often be in one of these. All right, so here we have the MacBook itself. Let's turn it over and break the seal. Look at that. That is a sealed MacBook. Okay, let's see if we can actually keep the seal intact. No! <laughs> I broke, I broke it! My heart is pumping right now. This is really cool. Think about the last time you saw a pre-unibody MacBook Pro. These things have not aged well. They are all beat up like crazy. They have these thin pressed aluminum housings back before uh, the unibody was really standard on all MacBooks and most laptops. So these things, uh, they didn't, they weren't as durable as the newer MacBooks. So seeing one in perfect condition is going to be something else. Okay, here we go. Wow. Look at it. It's perfect. It's, it's big too. I have never in my entire life witnessed a brand new pre-unibody MacBook Pro. Not that I wasn't alive at the time. Obviously I was alive in 2008. I just wasn't buying a brand new 17 inch MacBook Pro. And oh my goodness, even like the, the little things, the feet on the bottom, these things would come off all the time. They are still here. The antenna, there's a little bit of rubber on the back that would get pretty worn down. Also the plastic gaskets around the uh, display and the top case. Those things would get worn, and the plastic around the MagSafe charger, that would get worn as well. And here it is all absolutely flawless. All right, I do kind of want to see, yeah, no, the, the battery does not have a charge. That's pretty much exactly what you would expect. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Because keep in mind, even finding the original batteries for these things can be pretty hard, given that they haven't been made in 12 years. So yeah, this is the original, should be a brand new, Apple battery. We'll see if it's actually survived basically 12 years of just sitting around. So hopefully we'll be able to get this thing to charge. We also have a little label in the battery bay uh, that states that it's Apple certified reconditioned. That's pretty cool. So now let's open up the 17 inch MacBook Pro and see, oh, the hinge feels amazing. I'm just amazed at the feel of the hinge. A lot of times on these older devices, as you would expect, the hinges wear out, the keyboard, the keycaps wear out, but none of that is here. This hinge feels amazing. Let's uh, let's try the keyboard, see how that feels. Ooh. I'm not exaggerating. This actually feels different than the other pre-unibody MacBook keyboards I've typed on. I have a couple of these things. I've had a couple of these things over the years. All of them 
were, were used when I bought them and none of them felt like this. These keys can actually get a little bit kind of crunchy, stuff gets in them and they kind of crunch when you type. They also aren't the, the most tactile keyboards and they tend to wear out a little bit, but this one at peak tactility feels really good. The mouse button too just feels so cool. This is one of the coolest experiences, being able to look at this brand new computer from 2008. It's, it's such a surreal experience. And I know that there's gonna be people that are gonna be like, well, what's the big deal? Haven't you ever seen one of those in good condition before? You know what the design looks like. Yeah, but this is different. Even then, the best condition one that you can imagine, this is just something else. Okay, I think we need to power it on. I don't wanna take the original charger out of its original wrapping, so I have my usual MagSafe here, which I'm going to insert very tenderly because I don't wanna wear out the MagSafe port. I'm like a child right now, this is crazy. I gotta get a hold of myself, I look like an idiot. Well, I am an idiot. Let's use English, shall we? English. Yes. I actually have goosebumps right now. That was the Mac OS X introduction video playing for the first time on a 12 year old computer. All right, so excuse my unprofessionalism, but I'm just gonna use my phone to film the setup process and we'll get to the desktop for the first time. Let's just call it Gary Oldman because this computer is kind of like an old man. The city is gonna be Coolsville. Where will you primarily use this computer? Um, let's, we'll say a small business. I have one employee, it's me. What best describes what you do? All right, so I'm, I'm assuming they must have YouTuber on here somewhere, if I had to guess. We'll, we'll, we'll do video film, that's close enough. And now we'll use our incredibly high quality camera to take a photo for this account. All right, that's a great photo. In fact, I think we should probably zoom in on that a little bit. Oh, there we go, that's perfect. I think this is probably the same camera that they're still shipping on Max these days. It's about the same quality. Oh, did you see the date change? It had it in like 2007 for a split second. Here we go, we're about to get the desktop for the first time in 12 years. So there we have it, look at that, version 10.5. Not 10.5 point anything, just 10.5. And sure enough, we have the Core 2 Duo, two gigabytes of RAM. So we've got our 8600M GT. Look at that, oh, we actually have the higher resolution display. So by default, this came with a 1680 by 1050 display. This one has the 1200p higher resolution upgrade. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at our battery information. Look at that, cycle count three. Oh man, remember that? You used to be able to do the normal better performance or power saving mode. A lot of Windows laptops had this feature as well. That's so cool. So I have absolutely no idea whether this video is going to perform well on YouTube. I've never done anything like this, but I can already tell you that this was quite possibly one of my favorite videos ever. Just being able to essentially go back in time and, and see this brand new 12, 13 year old computer, it, it's really something special. Oh, wait a minute, software updates are available. Yeah, I'd say a couple years worth. <laughs> so you may be wondering how much I paid for the privilege to go back in time and unbox this computer. Well, it wasn't actually as expensive as you might think. Old, un-unboxed Apple products tend to carry a pretty hefty premium, especially really old iPhones. Those things can be thousands of dollars, but I only paid $420 for 
this MacBook Pro. That's really not terrible. Now, obviously the computer itself isn't worth $400. It's probably a $200 laptop if you were to upgrade it and modernize it, but I don't really wanna do that. I think this computer is best on the original version of OS X. I'm not gonna install any updates. I'm not gonna upgrade the RAM. I'm not gonna upgrade the hard drive. I think this thing is so cool as a time capsule. I'm probably gonna just keep it in the box, in the bag, because this is just amazing. So hopefully you guys found this video as entertaining as I did. This was honestly one of the coolest experiences, one of the coolest things I've ever done on this channel. Uh, so hopefully you thought it was too. Also, let me know in the comments below, what was the first Mac that you took out of the box and what are your fond memories of that experience? And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani and check out my subreddit, which is linked in the description below. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.